just stay snuggled into your bed, that warm duvet, and you're all good. Some people had a good night's sleep, others, others didn't. So if you're looking to improve and find out more about your sleep without heading to a lab, there's a new service that will check out, it will check it right from your home. It's called Sleep Efficiency, and with more, we're joined by corporate sleep consultant Andrew Holmes. Always a pleasure to have you here. And so I think breaking it down, there's a difference between us just having a good night's sleep and, and not getting enough sleep, but we're talking about sleep apnea, and still there's a lot of people that don't have a, a good understanding of what that is. Right, so we can break that down first. Um, sleep apnea by definition means you have a cessation of breathing for 10 seconds. So pauses in your breathing throughout the course of the night, muscle tissues in your upper airway actually cause partial or complete blocks. And when that happens, it causes a reduction in your blood oxygen levels and puts a strain on your cardiovascular system. And it causes your sleep to be fragmented. So you can spend seven to nine hours, 10 to 12 hours in bed. But what's happening is, is you're not getting a quality sleep. These interruptions keep occurring and you're not getting to the deeper stages of sleep that you need to to wake up and feel refreshed in the morning due to respiratory events that are occurring. Wh who is most at risk for this? So, do, you see, do you see a pattern? Absolutely, so there are people that are increased risk for sure. So uh, people who are obese or overweight, um, those who have a large neck circumference, uh, 17 inches for males, 16 inches for females. There's a genetic component that runs in it. There's a, it runs tends to run in families as well. Uh, people with a narrow airway or an enlarged uh, uvula tongue. Um, so th those are the general ones that, you, that we would see an increased risk for. Uh, oftentimes, if there's a partner sleeping next to them, what would they experience? Is it, you, you almost don't stop hearing them breathe, or, or is it loud? So, yeah, so symptoms would be uh, chronic snoring right away. So while snoring doesn't necessarily indicate sleep apnea, it can be a symptom of. Uh, waking up gasping for air, these types of things is for witnessed um, apnea is the way you would want to be looked at. Other symptoms though would be uh, excessive daytime fatigue would be a big one. Uh, waking up with morning headaches, these are types of things you'd want to maybe investigate a little bit further if these are common occurrences. So oftentimes if, you are, if, you're, if you're staying on top of things, you're calling your family doctor, you're saying something's not right, let's look into this. But then there's weights, there's, there's heading into some of these labs, but there's another opportunity and that's right. what we're talking about right and now. And that's what we're, what we're going to discuss right now. So while a sleep lab in a hospital setting is still the gold standard here, what this is is a, a take-home sleep test which actually enables the person to, to discover and act on their own behalf and if the physicians can kind of rule out or confirm whether or not there's any sleep disorder breathing in a simple take-home test. So patients would arrive at the office, it's a quick 15-20 minute demo, uh, they then go home with the device, sleep with it in the comfort of their own bed, with their own blanket and their own pillow, and then in the morning they return the unit back to sleep efficiency, we formulate the report and send it back to the family physicians. So a quick uh, option for physicians to rule out or confirm. Um, physicians have found a lot of benefit as well for people who don't want to go to a hospital mm -hmm. setting. They don't feel there's anything wrong with their sleep. So they're actually using this as ammunition to push them forward. Okay, so for some it's about staying out of the, you know, having to go into further testing, but for some it's to say, listen, there is a serious issue and this is going to, this That's, is going to show Yes, we're, we're trying to capture those ones that are in the general population that refuse to go to a sleep lab or, or refuse to think that there's anything wrong with their sleep. And uh, I have about uh, five or six family clinics around town that are referring to me already and the feedback has been phenomenal because it's quick and it's efficient and it's accurate. Uh, and it, it seems small. I, I was expecting this big machine with lots of, you know, no. lots of fancy tricks. So this is something you would take home. So how, how is this going to work? So this is the device itself. Um, what we're actually capturing on this uh, device is all respiratory events that are occurring all sleep disorder breathing that's occurring. Uh, we're capturing oxygen levels, what your lowest oxygen level is across the night. I mentioned to you when you have pause in your breathing, it causes reduction in, your, reduction in your blood oxygen levels. So I can actually show you how quickly this is to set up. It simply clicks in on one side. The belt itself does, isn't just holding the unit in place, it's actually capturing what we call your respiratory effort. Okay. So it's how your body's breathing throughout the course of the night. That is the first step. The second step would be a nasal cannula that simply goes around your nose and your ears and it plugs into the top piece here as well, into this port. And what this is doing is capturing your breathing. So as you breathe in and out throughout the course of the night, it's able to identify if there are any pauses in your breathing or not. The third piece, again, is the pulse oximeter. And this collects your blood oxygen levels and how low they potentially dip throughout the course of the night. And it's actually capturing your heart rate as well. The machine is intelligent enough to determine which position you're sleeping in, whether you're on your side or on your back. There are certain people that snore a lot louder when they're on their back and their respiratory vents are a lot louder on their back. So it's a really, uh, a really, really sweet device where we're able to capture and get a, a true picture of how somebody's sleep is in, in one overnight study in the comfort of their own home. And it doesn't seem too complicated for, for people at home to be able to no. mess this up. There's a, you know, one click, you know, one tube and then you plug it in and it, it's you, all there. You're done, you're off to the races. It, it's so simple in its design and it should be. You know, this is something, an alternative for people 
to, to start the process and the investigation process. So this is something for family physicians to understand there's a new product out on the market that's going to help them with their, with their patients. And for patients to say, listen, I, I understand, I might not need to further the investigation, but this will put a, give a peace of mind for so many people. Correct. So um, physicians are able to go to my website at sleepefficientz.ca. They're able to print off a requisition form there, fax it into our offices, and our team calls the, uh, the, uh, the patient, sets up the appointment, and has them come in. Um, also, if patients want to advocate on behalf of their own health care, uh, they can go into the website, just the same process, print off the requisition form and walk into their family physician's office and say, you know what, my partner or myself says that I, sl that I stop breathing or I have pauses or for the various reasons that we've already discussed, this is something I want to investigate a little bit further and now I can do this uh, first process in the comfort of my own bed. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I would just like more hours of the day <laughs> to be able to find that uh, opportunity to sleep, but this is a really great information and a, and a really neat tool, www.sleepefficiency.ca.